now. Okay, um, this will be about bias and machine learning, the old thing, and I'm going to tell you why your algorithm, yours in particular, is probably racist. Let's start with Netflix. Um, last year they had this pretty awesome controversy where they uh, showed um, creepy and racist ads uh, to people of color. Um, basically what happened, their algorithm learned that some notion of blackness and also learned that black people want some representation in movies. So they showed them ads with um, black actors, even though they aren't really that much in the movie, so kind of misleading. But what was really amazing about this controversy was their answer on this not surprising backlash. Um, the answer was this one. The last sentence is important. The only information we use is a member's viewing history. This is even worse than what they actually did because they basically remove all re responsibility. It's an algorithm. We didn't ask for ethnicity. This is absolute bullshit, right? Um, yeah, of course they learned some notion of blackness and this isn't the response you give when your algorithm is racist. Um, let's look at another example. Language, right? Um, Spoiler, all human language is biased. So you don't have any possibility of having unbiased language, and you always have to deal with that. It's not just a racist language. It's in orthography, lexicography, grammar. You have, uh, for ex these are some, just some examples. You have asymmetrically marked gender in English. So an actor is everyone acting, but an actress is only a woman acting. Uh, you have a different quantity of gendered insults, naming conventions explicitly objectify women. Like women often have names that are objects or qualities. This isn't in most languages the case for men. Right. Um, when you look at an application of language, language classification, this was thought of as solved in the 90s. What language is a given text in? It uses big news corpora. It's mostly unbiased text. Unbiased. Um, but it's written in main dialect and it's written by privileged writing staff, right? Which is, here is code for white men. Um, the problem is African American English, for example on Twitter, is 20% less likely to be classified. So if you do some market research, you exclude 20% of a minority and this just doesn't go. The problem with all of these is there are no real easy solutions, right? to bias in machine learning. There's no quick fix. Um, you have the most often, um, this is the solution companies use, total avoidance. When black people were classified as gorillas on Google's image labeling tech, they just removed gorillas from the pos uh, possibilities. When Alexa suggested that uh, you might want to kill your foster parents, they just uh, rem um, remove those questions from being able to be answered. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, there's limited applicability. Solutions that deal with sexism don't work for racism and vice versa. So even if you solve some kind of discrimination, it's still bigoted in some other way. Um, oftentimes they exploit some false classification, um, some proxy for what they want actually to achieve, and this isn't a clean solution, this isn't applicable across this, uh, across the whole spectrum. This is one easy quick fix for one particular system always. Um, this is what they did, by the way, for the image classification thing. They saw that um, black uh, African-American English was uh, often classified as Spanish, so they um, used that to reclassify them. And um, there's an, oftentimes it's a uh, there's an introduction of even more priors and meter parameters. So, um, for example, when every person standing in the kitchen is a woman on image labeling, they, uh, you have to um, modify your input into the system to raise the um, possibility, the probability that the man in the kitchen is actually a man. Um, yeah, so... and. When you deal with machine learning, where you already have so many priors and meter parameters, in introducing like five, six different parameters just to deal with bias becomes quickly unfeasible. Yeah. So, 
lightning talk, so already main takeaways. Um, just because something uses machine learning doesn't mean it's unbiased, obviously. Um, all language is implicitly prejudiced, so just don't deal after the fact with it. Um, training data does make a difference. Diverse stuff makes a difference. It really does. You wouldn't classify um, people of color as gorillas if you had a single person of color on your staff. And testing a system makes a difference. A lot of these things shouldn't have made it to production. Thanks.